This guy's flow is like second to none. I love it when you call me Big Papa. Throw your hands in the air. Use a true player. I wasn't even like alive in the 90s when like Biggie was like big. There's some sort of like nostalgic feeling you get, even though you weren't from this era. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Biggie Smalls? My boy Biggie. Biggie, okay. I see y'all. Remember rapping Duke? The hard, the hard. You never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight because I rhyme tight. Time to get paid. This is like old school. That's perfect. My mom was like super into Biggie. That's why like I'm super familiar. He's the raw G, Brucey B, Kick the Free. Funk Master Flex, Love Bug Star Ski. Man, he just never ran out of breath. You never hear him stop one time. I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Call a crib, same number, same hood. It's all good. King of Flow. What a banger. A classic banger. Let him hold you down. Reach for the stars. Such a good song right there. Old that school. was classic. 90s rap was so good. If you like rap, how do you not like Biggie Smalls? Him and Pac were like the epitome of rap. Oh, this one's classic. This is probably my favorite one that he's done. No. I love Biggie. Everyone knows the song. To all the ladies in the place with style and grace, allow me to lace his lyrical dishes in your bushes. Oh, I wish I knew all the lyrics to this. It'd be so fun to rap with. The back of the club, sipping my wet is where you find me. No need to be greedy. I got that's an insane amount of money that they were waving around. Jump in the rover and come over. Tell your friends jump in the GF3. I got the chronic by the tree. I love it when you come in, Big Pop. Throw your hands in the air, use a true player. I like it when you call me Big Papa. So the honey's getting. Oh my god, I love this song. I love it when you call me Big Papa. You got a gun up in your waist, please don't shoot up the place. Wow. Cause I see some ladies tonight that should be having my baby. Baby. It's a fun one. It's a really fun one. Let's just play that one over and over again. I love that song. That one's a classic. I, I think there's no one in the world that doesn't know that song. First things first, I pop freak all the honey, dummy, play for just, just pulling in all the good ones, aren't you? <laughs> this is all on my playlist. I don't think I've ever heard this song. Damn, I need to listen to Big's albums again. As I lay down laws like Island Coppin. Stop it. If you think they're gonna make a problem. Has a wink there, he's like see my gun, get it. Now tell your friends Papa hit it, then split it. First I talk about how I dress this this. Why can't rap like this still be prevalent today? It's so weird how different like gangster rap is now from this to like nowadays. Can't make call them tell them you be home real late and sing the break, huh? I got that good love, girl. I want a throne. I love how bougie he is with his chains and his like throne that he's sitting on. I got that good love, I like it. Like I like his music. This is good. I haven't heard this one before, but I like this a lot. This is just like I'm, I wasn't even like alive in the '90s when like Biggie was like big, but like there's some sort of like nostalgic feeling you get even though you weren't from this era. Hypnotize. Hypnotize. Oh, I love this so much. Oh, it's so catchy. This guy's flow is like second to none. Sometimes the words just hypnotize And I just love your flashy ways Guess that's why they broke and you so pay can't you see? Sometimes your words just hypnotize me. I love this man's style. It's just so dope. Music videos are so different back then. It's so like simple. For rap, he's very like chill about it. You know, it's not like really hardcore. That one and Big Papa are like the two that I remember the most because those are the classic like Biggie songs. Classic, classic. 
Throw your rollies in the sky. This is interesting. This is a fun one. While I give you a girl a eye. Play a please. Lyric lead. The C. B I G B flossing. Jig on the The clothes back then were so funny. I like their costumes for sure. I got the know. I got the dough. Is P didn't even say anything in these songs? I feel like he's just there. They want for me, it's like the more money we come across, the more problems we see. More money, more problems. It's the anthem. I'm gonna like every single one you've played through. Is there more? Oh, this is like what started it for me. I used to listen to this with my dad when I was like three. He really likes showing parties. Oh, he's actually rapping in this one. I like to see the outfits. <laughs> oh, Jay! Their parties look like so much fun. Oh. Oh, is this after he died? Is this like a tribute song? Rest in peace. I love Biggie. <laughs> One of the goats. You gotta love Notorious Big. It's just cool to see how there's artists like that who are so influential. Even though they're not here, they still have that impact. They're still huge. And like, it's just, it's just like that legend. I grew up listening to his music. He was a lyrical genius. So we're covering Biggie today because this year marks the 20th anniversary of his murder back in 1997. <sighs> Rest in peace. That's what I heard. I saw an appreciation post about him. He was so young and he was at the prime of his career and it just kind of sucks because it's like he could have done so much more. So do you find that despite being gone for 20 years now that Biggie is still considered an influential music artist today? Oh yeah, of course. If you watch any rapper's interview today, they'll say like their influences were Biggie, and Tupac. A lot of people respect him and a lot of artists grew up with him. A lot of artists that are still alive to this day worked with him. The musicians that we're listening to now grew up on them. So we're pretty much listening to what they were inspired by. You talk to people that really respect lyricism like Kendrick Lamar, like J. Cole, like Schoolboy Q. They, one of the first people that they'll always bring up is Pac, Nas, and Biggie. They were playing on the radio, just all of his music, and I totally was singing along to all of it, and like, I was like, I was, I'm not 20, I'm 17. I was never around for him at all, and I know all that. That's what a legend is. So the West Coast, East Coast rivalry was linked to the murder of West Coast rapper Tupac Shakur a few months before Biggie's murder, although neither of these cases were ever solved, so no one can really say for sure. What do you think about how a rivalry inside of music escalated to the point where some people consider it responsible for the murders of these artists? It does seem a bit extreme. They're like 3,000 miles apart from each other. It's reputations and it's like, oh, he's like shitting on my name. But overall, it's music. They were both super successful and there was no reason to sort of attack each other over it. Just because they want something and they couldn't achieve what that person achieved, there's a lot of jealousy, so you could see why. I mean, it's sad to say, it, but like, see why someone's trying to go after them just over music. But I mean, killing that person, it's not gonna make you famous. When the money gets involved and like the fame and success and then you start like needing to call people out over different things and like, you know, you're both at each other's throats like publicly and everyone knows about it. It's, I don't know, it's kind of sad to me like how that can create such a big division in like two people. Finally, with this being 20 years since his death, do you think that we'll still be talking about Biggie and his music 20 years from now? Honestly, no. It will still be talked about, just perhaps not as much. He'll never be forgotten, but you know, I feel like he won't be, you know, held as in such high regard as he is now. I definitely think we could, because 20 years is a long time. Oh yeah, he's, he's always gonna be an influence on hip hop forever. All I can say is that I hope we're talking about him in the same light that we are now and we don't forget what an impact he had on music. We still talk about like the Beatles and Queen and like they were from like 60s and 70s and of course we're still gonna be talking about 90s rap and Biggie especially. He was a big part of that whole era and so it's sort of like, how could you stop talking about him? He was an icon. It was rhythmic poetry, uh, rhythmic rhyming poetry to music. It was done so beautifully that he can still be used as a prime example of what should be done in music today. Thanks for watching another episode of Teens React. New videos come out almost every day. If you want to see more, subscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone.
Bye. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallin here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Teens React. Now, what musical artist should we react to next? Let us know down in the comments. Bye, guys. Oh,